So Burberry recently came out with an eyeshadow palette for their holiday season. And I actually haven't heard anyone really talk about it at all. And I was a little bit surprised by that because probably about five plus years ago, we were all obsessed with the Burberry eyeshadows. And I do know that they did come out with like an eyeshadow palette last year for the holidays, but it was more of like a face palette that had like some cheek colors in it as well. And that palette reminded me a lot of the Tom Ford palettes that they come out with. It has like the four eyeshadows and two cheek colors. The textures kind of look the same as that too, which were not the classic Burberry textures. And also the shades weren't very Burberry to me either. The reason I always liked Burberry eyeshadows and blushes is because the shades were all kind of like nuanced and moody and they always seemed like a little desaturated, a little bit, a little bit grayed version, you know, of like what the color would be. And I obsessed over their shadows so much. I still have them and I'm sure that like by normal like standards, like those are expired and I don't care. I'm going to keep them until they no longer function. Not only because I paid a lot of money for them, but they're my absolute favorite eyeshadow formula of all time. But anyway, <laughs> back to like the holiday palette here. So it's expensive. I haven't seen any reviews talking about it. The only thing I have seen is after I actually bought mine, somebody actually did a video where they were, I think it was like a, what are those called? Like an anti-haul type videos talking about uh, releases, whether or not they were gonna buy it. And they didn't wanna get this because it was so expensive. And like, I get it, it was like $125 for this palette. But there's just something about Burberry shadows and I'm hoping that this formula is similar to the old formula that I absolutely love. So a little bit of a backstory and I could be wrong on this and maybe this is just in my head. But several years ago, Shiseido bought out the Burberry makeup line. And when that happened, they actually came out at first with like the, their wet dry shadow formula and I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. And then all of a sudden they got rid of the single shadows, which I think were probably their best sellers. They got rid of them all together. And then now they have like their quads and I have purchased one, just only one in the past, but the colors in the quads just never really did it for me. And this is the one I got from, this is a couple holidays ago. This was a holiday palette before, which was the original sort of Burberry formula. Now, the old Burberry palettes had that sort of like tartan or, you know, like the typical Burberry, like sort of like tartan, I think that's what it's called, pattern on it. And it was also embossed in the eyeshadows. And so let me pull out a single shadow here. That one, it's gone, I've used so much of it. Um. I mean, I've used these a lot. Let's see if it's still, this one's kind of still embossed in there. You can kind of see it in the shadow. So, and that was kind of like the whole allure to me. And it's so weird. They did make it look like fabric here. Like you can kind of see the lines. It looks kind of like fabric. I did swatch this one down here. I haven't really, actually, I think I swatched this one too. But anyway, <laughs> I haven't really messed with it though. I wanted to save it for the video. Um, so you can kind of see that that's in there, but it's, it doesn't look like that classic Burberry sort of thing. And then also the outside packaging is not that either. So I'm hoping that these are good. I'm really excited to try them out. So I'm just going to start off by swatching this top row here. watch them and the first thing I will say is I don't really find that any of these shades are comparable to the single shades that I had in the old formula and I was kind of hoping that they would be the formula here I find is a little bit softer um, and more kind of opaque just for an example like if I were to swatch this right here You can see that the shades are a little bit more muted. And then when I go to swatch them here, they almost have like that buildable sort of translucent. It's like a thinner formula sort of consistency, which I prefer. I think it's more flattering on me. Now these more opaque shades, 
I think are great if you're a person of color and um, you need something, you know, that's obviously more opaque. But because I am pretty pale and also olive and desaturated, sometimes shades like this, which I haven't even put them on my eyes, are a little bit much. So we're gonna play around and we're gonna see how they look. The shades still do to me kind of feel a little bit Burberry, but they're just not as muted as the old ones. This shade is like a sort of, it's just a very nuanced kind of gray, green, brown. And I just find that the old formula is superior for what like I need. Um, and that may not be what everybody else needs. But either way, I have prepped my skin and I'm ready to try these on my eyes. Um, and I think though, for a holiday palette, it's kind of smart having like some of these browns lean a little bit deeper in red without being like overly deep in red while also having like this green. So it's like a nice holiday palette without it just screaming holiday. Um, and I think that this would be a great palette to use year round. So I haven't even used it and I'm saying that. Let me, ooh, let's peel this off so that I can see off the mirror better. Yeah, all right. So I think since there is no skin tone shade for me to put on here, I'm just gonna start and go in with this brown. Um, and also to point out, there are two matte shades in this whole palette. You've got this brown in this corner and then this brown down here. Look at all you just saw like, <laughs> this mirror is very telling. You just saw the mess I have on my desk. Okay, so let's, so very pigmented. They blend beautifully though. Like this blends pretty effortlessly. Should I zoom you in so you can see better? All up in my skin. Okay, so I have that base shade on there. And now I wanna go in with this more bronzy shade in the top left corner and kind of just bring that over the lid. So what I can already tell you about these shadows, the reason I loved the other Burberry shadows, aside from their wet to dry formula they had, most of their shades were satin. They were, they were like matte or satin. And I really liked that because they were very blendable, very sheer, kind of gave that moody look. These are kind of a completely different formula than what they had before. Um, some of them are more metallic and shimmery and they're softer and more opaque. So this is not the typical Burberry formula if you loved those single eyeshadows. This is a nice formula that's very blendable, it's very pretty but this is not the Burberry that like we used to know. So I always like to do a mix of warm and cool. So I'm gonna go in with this kind of cool, taupey, metallic shade and kind of bring that in towards the inner part of my eye. And then I'm gonna take this pencil brush here and I'm gonna go into that first shade that I went into right there and bring that under the eye and then kind of like drag it and kind of give a little bit of shape there to where it kind of meets. And I'm gonna give it a little bit more dimension by going in with this shade right here. It's kind of like, I would say, a deeper sort of neutral brown with some gold flecks in it. Um, and we're just gonna little by little on this outer corner just for depth. And I'm just gonna take that original brush I was using to kind of blend out. And I am actually on this eye, I'm gonna take it up some. Um, because I was doing it with my eyes closed and it was even, but again, I pointed this out a lot recently. I have more lid space on this eye than I do here. And so like, it looks like it's coming up a little bit further, but it's in the fold on my other eye. So I am gonna kind of look straight forward in this mirror down here and just try to even up 
my eyes a little bit. Okay, and if it were me, you know what, it is me. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay, so I have that done and I think I do wanna just try out this kind of shimmery, pale gold champagne shade. And I'm just gonna put that a little bit on the center lid here. And yep, on this side. And then I am gonna take a little bit and just put it right here. So I'm gonna jump off camera really quickly and finish up my eyes by putting on some liner and mascara. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna jump back and we're gonna just kind of chat about the quality of this palette, the formula, and I'm also gonna compare it to some other things that I own. And then if you happen to own them and you've been wanting this palette, maybe you won't feel like you need it at that point. Okay, so I finished up my makeup and I just kind of wanted to get into these shadows. So is it worth the price? And I think again, it's like 115, 125, I'll have the actual price here on the screen. Um, I say it's worth the price if you were going to use all of these shades. They're very wearable. When it comes to holiday palettes, a lot of the times they're only wearable around like the holidays, like they're extra holiday-like, so you've got like your reds and your greens, kind of colors like that. This is a beautiful gift to give to somebody because it could be an everyday palette. But <laughs> it's not worth it if you have something in your collection that is similar to this. So the thing that I found that was most similar, um, which you get a ton more shadows in this than you do in the Burberry, it's this from Natasha Denona. This has like a ton of other colors in it, but honestly, every single shade that is in here is also in here. Um, I'm not gonna do side-by-side -side swatches, but if you want, you can like kind of pause the screen and look around. But like you do have, um, like see here, these corner shades close to the same, then right next to it, close to the same. Um, and then the greens, like you have tons of different uh, greens in this palette that are close to the same. This shade, down here on the corner is kind of like this shade here. You literally have every single shade. You've got the brown, you have like the sort of champagne -y gold shade and the lighter shades here. Um, you have every shade in here. So I did get this. I actually paid about the same price for this as I paid for the Burberry because this was on sale for Black Friday where you got like two palettes for the price of one. So um, that's kind of the time to get them around Black Friday is when they have that sale every year. So um, if you're shopping around the holidays, this would also be just as wonderful, obviously, as a gift. It feels more like it's not as compact where you can take it with you every day or put it in your everyday makeup bag. So it's really gonna depend on the person. But I think that like this looks so luxe, it would be beautiful on a vanity, it could go in your makeup bag. I will say though that Natasha Denona is more versatile with the lighter shades where somebody like me is I didn't really have a base shade to sweep all over that was close to my skin tone. This also only has two matte shades in it. And it's kind of weird because I think that this formula is so different from the original Burberry formula that I was obsessed with. Um, to where if I like zoom in and you look at my eyelids, here we go. It's kind of textured because I'm obviously aging. Um, so what's so weird about it to me is the fact that like, they made the formula like more pigmented like Natasha Denona where you can definitely look and you can tell like, she's wearing eyeshadow. But for the price range, a lot of the times the people who were buying makeup that is this expensive, um, they're a little bit older. And the older formula actually worked better on older aging skin. Um, so that was kind of like one thing that kind of didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me when they switched over to this formula. I would say that this palette is actually also better for people with deeper skin because again, they didn't have a light enough shade and these shades are actually all pretty like deep. They run pretty deep, but the problem also with them is I would say this is probably best for a medium skin tone because <laughs> there's they run deep for me, 
but there's not really anything in there that's super deep to where it's going to contour as much on somebody's eye. So honestly, it's for somebody that's younger with a medium skin tone that has that much money to spend. Um, so th this is a beautiful palette and I'm still gonna get use out of it. And I was so excited to get it and was like, oh my gosh, when I opened it, I'm like, this is well worth the money. But after using it and comparing it to the old formula, it, it kind of let me down a little bit, which kind of sucks. I mean, these shadows are beautiful. They look beautiful, but the, it just doesn't, here, let me move this because that's rattling and driving me insane. It just doesn't have, to me, the Burberry qualities that the old shades had. So to me, when I thought Burberry makeup, I thought like moody, foggy, fall, uh, desaturated makeup. It was almost like they had just taken the makeup and just turned down the color a little bit or put like a filter over it to where everything was just slightly desaturated. Like for example, purple eyeshadows typically don't work on me. This one right here from Burberry does because it's a desaturated purple. So like, like on me, like it looks purple. Like if I put it next to my face. Um, but it's not <laughs> that purple of a shade. Um, but usually if I, I don't go too crazy with the purple because again, it really stands out on my skin tone. Like if I put like more saturated, more vibrant colors on my face, my camera, is it like just moving? I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> it's weird. If I put more like vibrant colors on my face, it's like, whoa, like she's wearing a lot of color. Everything for me has to be slightly muted. And that's also why nuanced shades matter so much to people who kind of are maybe desaturated or all, all of a little bit like me because you put these muted shades on there that might have just a hint of pink in them. They look pink on me, but then if I put a full on pink shadow, it just looks crazy on me. So it really matters. It's kind of all in the nuance, all in just like the slight tone shift. Um, and that's what's most flattering on me. So. I was a little bit disappointed that they turned up the saturation, which yeah, for most people, like they're gonna love this. Um, but for me, it just didn't really do what I wanted it to. So I wanted to compare a couple shades to the original singles that I had. Again, nothing's like super close, but this one right here is called Chestnut and it is a warm brown. So there's Chestnut and then in here, um, yeah, their shades are just generic kind of. So this deep brown here, this matte deep brown is probably the closest thing and they just call it deep brown. And it still kind of has a similar undertone, but here is chestnut and then here is their matte deep brown. So the matte deep brown and then chestnut. You can just see it's just slightly muted. Um, and then I also wanted to compare this. This is when they switched over to the wet dry formula. And this is the shade Nude. And it's like a silvery wet looking taupe. Also, this formula is the best formula for getting that wet look. Um, and unfortunately, <laughs> I can no longer uh, get it. But they have this, which they call it rose gold on the bottom, which is funny. That does not look rose gold to me. That's definitely like a taupe. Um, but here they are side by side. I guess it is a little bit more rosy. Um, but here is the rose gold. And then there, there we go. It does look a little bit more rose gold. But then there is the original formula, which again, more muted. I do want to compare the greens. So in here, I, there is a gray green shade right here. It's like barely green. It's like a slate gray green shade. And it was the most suitable sort of green for me. And then I'm going to swatch the bottom middle in this one, just so you can kind of see the differences between those green shades. And here they are. So I just, I mean, obviously I prefer the muted tones. I could, like a broken record here. 
Um, but for those of you who really love the older Burberry uh, formula and shade range, this is very different. The shades are soft and pigmented and they actually do remind me a lot of the Natasha Denona shadows in the way that they go on very, very pigmented. They're high quality shadows, nothing wrong with them. Um, but to me, it just doesn't feel very Burberry like. So if you were looking at this palette and you were super excited about it, I hope that this helped you kind of make a decision as to whether or not you wanted it. Um, it's still gorgeous. I'm still going to keep it and use it. Um, but it's just not quite what I was hoping it to be. So I think I will try to do like a green sort of holiday look from this in a future video, just to kind of try it around and play around with it some more and get my money's worth. But um, if you were on the fence about this, I hope that I helped you make your decision. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.